Good morning. As we begin, I invite you to please stand and turn and face the entry to the church. Thank you for your presence, your prayers here this morning. I invite you to please, uh, as a way of showing support to the family, not only join as fully as you can in the prayers of the Mass, but especially in the songs that are indicated in the program that you are handed on the way into church. We gather to pray as always in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. We gather to remember how in the waters of baptism, Spanky died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May you now share with him eternal glory. And as we begin our Mass, I invite you to please join in our opening hymn. Our opening song can be found in our Gather Hymnal, number 671. 671. Here I am, Lord.
let us pray. Eternal God, you made the union of man and woman a sign of the bond between Christ and his church. Grant peace and mercy to your servant Dennis, who is united in love with his wife Mona. May the care and devotion of his life on earth find a lasting reward in heaven. Look kindly on all his family as they turn to your compassion and love, strengthen their faith and lighten their loss. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Now let us be seated as we listen to God's word. A reading from the book of wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if to others, indeed, they seem punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over people, as the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. shepherd so nothing shall I want I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love I walk by the quiet waters of peace shepherd me oh God Should wander the valley. 
from death into life. Surely your kindness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award me on that day, and not only to me, but all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not what I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Mona, once again to you and to Joe and Jana and Dick and Mary and Patrice and Paul and Kathleen, our deepest sympathies. We gather to mourn the passing of a loving husband a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, a friend of many, a thoroughly Irish man. In fact, he would probably be one of those people who would come up to me on Sunday and say, it is not the fifth Sunday of Lent, it is St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Got to keep your priorities, you know how that works. And I see the green everywhere I look today. It's beautiful. He probably tried to time it right so he could hit that day. Um, I was touched by how you talked, too, about how early in life he had many challenges, and yet he did not let that determine his life. Sometimes we can get so possessed by our possessions, but it's the people we have that make life wonderful, not the things that we have. Found a lot of joy in life, even before meeting you, Mona, and uh, 
I was touched by the way he was, uh, a lot of signs of his love for sports, love for hockey in particular, and that, of course, carried on all his life. But then he met his partner for life. And the adventures you had, love seeing the pictures out there of your many travels and the many places you went together, but always family to bring you back home and stay close to, especially in these most recent years. For that is the love that God gives us. Short of the love of Jesus himself, that the love of family is something that so helps make this life so wonderful. And above all, we celebrate his faith today. We talked about how important that was to him. And more than anything else, it will remain important that we take that beautiful faith we have and pass it on to these little ones here to make sure that they know about that love of Jesus, love that carried their great-grandfather over all, through all the years. For if we stay close to Jesus, we believe this is not an ending, but a wonderful new beginning. We await that day when we will finally arrive at our true home if we are close to Jesus, if we follow, listen to his voice, follow his ways. So it is important that we do have that fifth Sunday of Lent in this beautiful season to remind us that sometimes Sometimes we do wander a little bit, but he's always there to call us back and give us hope that one day we will be again together again with spanking all those we love at God's dwelling place in heaven. God bless you. Let's stand now. We place our prayers, our petitions before the Lord this day, and to each of these prayers, I invite you to please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Dennis, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are gathered here today to worship with faith in the resurrection, that you may experience God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing sorrow of the death of Dennis, that our faith may be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the blessings of 73 and a half years of marriage, for wonderful children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, that Dennis may continue to look over our beautiful family in the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who could not be here today due to distance or illness, that they may experience peace through our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always listening to us as we cry out to you. Grant what we truly need this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite you to be seated as our gifts are brought forward. Please join in singing in our hymnal number 633, Come to Me, number 633.
Please stand and pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Dennis, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for us in heaven. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. I'd like you to please join in kneeling at this time or to be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the, chalice, said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection 
salvation until you come again until you come again therefore our lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven as we look forward to a second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may be obtained an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Dennis, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters, too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Amen. 
Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's priest, turning to our neighbor and saying, Peace be with you. I invite those who share our Catholic faith and wish to receive Holy Communion to come forward in two lines on the center aisle. Again, at this time, I invite you to please kneel or be seated. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song can be found in our gather hymnal number 586, Amazing Grace, number 586. We will sing verse 1, 2, and 5.
Before we conclude our prayer again on behalf of Dennis's family, I thank you for your presence, your prayers here today, and you're welcome to continue with us. Immediately after the Mass, we'll be having military honors out in the entryway of the church or just in the the drop-off area out there. Uh, Following that, you're welcome to join us on the lower end of the church in Archangels Hall. For those who aren't familiar, there's an elevator back in the entryway back here. There are stairs back here, or it's a nice day. You can even go around, go around the, on the outside if you want to. A um, couple other little things. Um, in honor of Dennis's service to his country, you may notice when we get out there, I think they're joining us now. We have some of our eighth graders who are going to join us for the military honors. One of our teachers is a veteran, and he's been telling them about what it means to serve the country, and what the the little ritual we'll see in a minute here represents. So uh, we're uh, glad to teach them about the the honor of serving the country. But as I was thinking about that, I thought we should have brought them in here too because there's quite something to be taught in 73 and a half years of marriage. And maybe you can give them a few little tips, Mona. the, uh, the, the funeral we had early in the week, the couple had met on the school bus, so I told the boys and girls, keep your eyes open when you're riding the bus. And in all seriousness, too, not only is that a beautiful example, but I, I was reminded today, too, that it's, it's uh, uh, very nice to have Father Custodio here with us, who lives with you. And Father has been a priest for 62 years. So that's quite a model of service, too. And finally, I want to add, I'm very glad, thank you to all the parents here who brought your little ones to be here with us, and I always love seeing them in church. The second day I was here, as a brand new pastor, I had a funeral already, and there was a family, a great grandmother, and they had, I think, twice as many little ones in the church, and I came down to give my little homily, my, my words of comfort to the family, and a little toy truck went flying by and almost clipped me in the ear. <laughs> And I thought, this is, this is a tough crowd, but I thought, I'm still glad. <laughs> I'm always glad when I see children in church. It's a wonderful thing. Let's stand now and conclude our prayer. Before we go our separate ways, we take loving leave of a husband, a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, a friend. May our farewell express our affection for him, may it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope that one day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Dennis in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings you bestowed upon him in this life and the ways he blessed and graced our lives. These are signs to us of your goodness and of all of our, and our fellowship with all the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. Until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now in peace, we take Spanky to his place of rest. Our closing song is number 868 in our gather hymnal, 868. 868. 